server. Standalone instance. These are the ports here that it's currently going to be listening on, so be careful that you haven't got any other servers listening on those ports. Okay, then off it goes. See how OpenFile is doing. OpenFile is now installed and ready to go. Okay, let's now uh, wait for uh, vCenter server to install. Okay, that's the installation of vCenter server done. See how much RAM I'm currently using. It's only about 500 megs for the moment. Let's see what happens when we add some clients. Or add some servers, I should say. <coughs> Check that the everything else seems to be working. Yep, ESX is up. I oh, need to put that back to the to that screen. Okay, let's do a quick DNS check. So ping ESX one, I think we already know works. And then ESX2 and then OF Okay, let's now connect to vCenter, which of course is this local computer. The logon details I'm using here is the local administrator. Let's now wait for uh, that to connect. Okay, this is the SSL warning message that we've seen before. Okay, here we are. Now that it's going to walk you through here with the getting started wizard. The first step is the first step is to create a, um, a data center. So let's do that now. It's going to appear here on the left hand side. We'll give it a name. I'm just going to call this Cookie PLC. Says so the next stage there is to add a host, so let's do that. Remember that the host is in fact the ESX server itself. Just waiting for the little wizard to pop up. There we go. So let's add ESX one first. This is the uh, username and password, well the password you created in the ESX install. You can add it by name or by IP address. In fact in this particular example we're not losing anything by specifying by name as the uh, local machine is running a DNS server. This is just the um, it's got there the SHA1 thumbprint of the certificate. We haven't got any licenses at the moment, so it's going to be installed in evaluation mode. And you see that at the bottom it'll start uploading the vCenter agent over to the ESX server. Let's add another host. Just trying to scroll down. Okay, so add host. This one is ESX2. Username and then the password. Again, that's a certificate, just confirming. Okay, 
we don't have a license so we're installing it in valuation mode just click next to that just waiting for it to respond at the moment here we go and then finish again you'll see it do exactly the same thing you can see it's added ESX1 now and it will start doing the same process with ESX2 here it goes so it's uploading the vCenter agent and it's installing the vCenter agent so if I can have a look at the current status of the ESX1 server and you'll see that it looks very similar to when we connected to the server using the VI client and we're connecting directly and there we go so you can see there it's very much the same see the data store, the VM network and it's going to be the same for both of them let's make the screen a little bit bigger if it'll let me, it's quite busy at the moment Just make it a little bit bigger. And there we go, we can see a a bit more now okay um, well that's the initial setup we've got our VMware center installed we've got our two ESX servers bound uh, we need to set up in the next video we'll be setting up open filer with the uh, iSCSI targets and um, then we need to uh, set up the ESX servers with their new network cards connecting to open filer and I'll see you for the next video